Hello guys. For those who have seen my previous video on how to install a quick release on the uh, Trustmaster F1 uh, wheel add-on, uh, you'll, you'll remember that I had a lot of loose. When you start driving, look the loose in that. It's ridiculous. So today I found a fix it's not the best it's a lot of work and it's it's annoying to have to fix a brand new part but when you buy cheap it's this is kind of thing that happens so let me take this out so this is a problem i can't obviously not oversight or uh fix the quick release itself because it's all it's it's strong it's the hardest part or the the the, the better part of the combo which come with that sleeve here and this is a problem it's too small and it's causing the wheel to be very loose so uh, I bought this nuts the big nuts for uh, four bucks at the hardware store it's the same length but it's bigger this one it's is uh, one inch thick and this one is one one inch and one eight thick so uh, obviously it's too big it doesn't fit in the wheel at the moment is too big not very much but about 116 so what I will do I will uh, try to remove that and I will install this one uh, instead uh, what I will do it's not something I recommend, it's very dangerous, it's not a proper way to use a grinder, but I will grind the nuts until I reach the, the not this size, but the right size for the wheel. I will test it often to make sure I'm not going too small, and as uh, I don't want to machine the inside of this, I also bought a big uh, bolt, I will cut the head, I will grind the 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 body of, of the the of the bolt so it fit in the pipe to make sure that I grind uh, flat and not uh, round. I make some mark on the bolt and I make sure that uh, all are disappearing <laughs> evenly. Now the hand, both end, uh, from the, the hand to the line, uh, they fit in the wheel perfectly. So uh, I, since I don't want to, to remove too much, I will finish the center part with, with this. This is it guys. After two hours of grinding and shaving, I achieve a tight very tight sleeve into that uh, quick release so now the next step is to make the notch which is used to uh, lock the quick release on the sleeve now the head of the bolt is cut I will grind it uh, the best I can this is cut guys best way to cut a bolt when uh, but usually I put I put the, the grinder in the in the jaw upside down and uh, I put the bolt or whatever I need to grind uh, on a round shape in the drill so it make a clean circle without edging edge and stuff like that uh, in this case that bolt doesn't fit in my drill it's three quarter my drill my drill chuck uh, open only at uh, half an inch uh, wide so uh, what I did I put some oil in the thread and uh, the the bolt is so uh, loose then uh, I put my grinder on this side and it rise the bolt and it make the bolt turn so uh, obviously if you push too hard it will stuck and you will create a flat but uh, if you just uh, rubbing the head of the bolt with the grinder 
uh, it's thin uh, in the opposite sense of the blade so it make a cleaner cut obviously it's not like uh, in the drill it create it's still creating some flat spot but it's better than just put that in a jaw and trying to invent it uh, a round shape you won't ever ever achieve it i found that the center of the wheel i mark the piece on the shaft and on my piece I will spot weld this so it doesn't move and uh, this will be it uh, nothing is uh, reinstalled yet but the steering column shaft is tight because I just wanted to make sure everything was okay before installing anything for good but uh, I got my new piece uh, at some point I can't get rid of all the loose and the knocking because it, it cannot be as tight as I cannot remove the wheel but I hope you will remember the uh, last time when you start driving look the loose in that it's ridiculous and this one as you can see there's nothing uh, to compare with uh, this one is pretty tight I will show you the, the shaft that I made <clears throat> I have trouble uh, putting the, the wheel in and uh, take it out so I cannot be more tight than this so I will build a spot weld here and uh, underneath uh, as you can see it's pretty much the same piece uh, the difference that this one is 116 um, not even 116 uh, smaller uh, I'd say 132 smaller than the piece I just made but it's all the difference in the world as you uh, see uh, from both uh, clip back to back so this is it I just fix uh, it was like half a day of work for nothing because if those guys who made this thing I've made it uh, the proper size in the first place I would not have to work on this for half a day but anyway it is now fixed I will put the wheel back on it So now I will put everything back together and uh, I will call it the day. So uh, thank you very much for watching guys. Uh, I will put the link of the previous video uh, regarding this uh, quick release installation and all of it uh, in the description. So if you're lost in there, in here, just watch the previous video well you will understand what i am talking about uh when i'm talking about loose and stuff like that so uh thanks guys and uh, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you like what i'm doing and on this i wish you a uh, merry christmas and happy new year and see you later goodbye